This legal series, I would like to talk about a migration and a demography in India. What is happening in India now as far as the migration is concerned? Once more people from Sri Lanka came due to turmoil in Sri Lanka. But now recently in the Bangladesh is a problem. And Rogin Smart from Myanmar is also a problem that we have to see. We don't have the, any specific migration law in India, but we do the for, do follow the policies and some more things and rules and regulation we have through which we are dealing the migrants. Migrants are also are more coming from Bangladeshis. Currently, on even today, the source of the report says very clearly the maximum people they enter into the Bengal and Jharkhand and Assam. These are the source of bordering state to the Bangladesh nation. But due to internal turmoil in Bangladesh, up to this time, the turmoil has not been reduced down. They are at a source of the like coming, the poor people coming to the India, whereby the demography at a source of the like change in the religion level, cultural level, caste level, and more things. So the Indian government has to take a more careness not to change in the demography. Because we are in the federalism based nation, that's why the Sanson, the states can separate powers. States that also deal with according to their one policy relating to the election and the results. As far as West Bengal is concerned, Jokhand is concerned, Assam is concerned, and they have to take more careness regarding the Sanson, the Sanson, the faithfulness of one nation. But they allow the state official allows some of the also migrants illegally and whereby the demography change. The people already existing here, living as a nation, the also the early residents of India, citizens of India face more problems. So the democracy change the also has to be controlled. So migration law is needed. Migration law with a specific purpose has to be enacted by the government of India. It's much needed in these covers. Thank you.